Hi everyone, so happy weekend. And what better way to kick off the weekend than to do an unboxing of MFT Stamps new Let's Toast with a Twist card kit that was just released a few days ago. And I believe it's sold out already, but you still can get the components of the kit if you are interested in making cards with some of the items that you see here. So the kit itself, there aren't many components. The star of the show is a die set by MFT that has a wine glass, a martini glass, and then an old fashioned glass. And I'll show those to you in a second. And then there's an interactive mechanism that you can use if you wanna make it look as though the two glasses are like clinking together to toast. And then finally, there is a small stamp set. So these are those three main components I just talked about and then this is the inspiration sheet that comes with the card kit to give you some ideas of some of the different types of cards that you can make. I'm going to make a card in this video that's pretty similar to the, um, the two examples that are on the left with the, um, the wine glasses that look like maybe there's like a Cabernet or a Mer Merlot wine in there. The example is interactive. I'm not going to do an interactive card. I actually tried to use the interactive mechanism earlier today and I couldn't figure it out. Um, that doesn't happen very often. Usually I, I can get it on the first or second try, but maybe it's just, you know, it's late in the day on Friday. Maybe I'm just tired from a hard week at work and I'll give it a try again tomorrow. And if I figure it out, I'll definitely make a video to show you guys how to um, get the interactive mechanism to work. There's also a video that MFT Stamps um, put out earlier this week showing how to get the interactive feature to work. That's the video I was watching that it's still like not getting it, but um, if I get it, I'll definitely post a video and I'll let you know what parts I thought were tricky. So you know what to look out for too. So these are, again, like I said, those three die cuts showing the wine glass, the martini glass, and the old fashioned um, glass. Three great classic drinks, right? I think if I had to pick only one for the rest of my life, I'd probably choose martinis. I think that's my favorite drink. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments what your favorite drink is. Okay, so here are the card stock that comes with the kit. And there are two sheets of smooth white, a sheet of cotton candy, ripe raspberry, orange zest, lemon drop, green room, blue raspberry, grape jelly, and then the sheet of silver sparkle cardstock. So what I love about the MFT kits is that they will usually give you a rainbow assortment of colors, but they're always like slightly different hues. So I have a few MFT stamps and I have a few different versions of, of, the, of the rainbow. Um, so I just, I love that they do that so that you can just get different color tones and find out, you know, which are the the colors that you like the best so you know what to add to your own private collection. Okay, so let's get started making a realistic wine glass with Copic markers. And I'm gonna start with my R39 marker. And I'm going to just kind of draw in where I want the wine to appear in the glass. And I'm gonna leave the center white for now because we're going to use some lighter colors in the center. Then I'm gonna use my toner gray for the base of our wine glass. And then I'm gonna take a darker toner gray and just draw in some shadows and um, add some definition in areas where I thought it needed definition, like the very bottom of the wine glass uh, or like where the wine sits right above the stem. I thought that needed a little bit of definition. So I added some color there. And then I'm just doing the same to the rest of the stem. I want to make it appear as though it's kind of very light in the center on the stem and on the base and then darker on the edges. For the wine itself, I worked a little bit trying to find like just the right combination of, of reds to come up with a nice Cabernet. And um, this is what I came up with. So we have our R59, our R39, our R29, our R24. And I think I used some RV25 as well. I tried not to use the, the reds that I always use just because I wanted to think outside the box a little bit, but I did end up going back to, I would say it's 75% of the reds I usually use with a few additions like that RV25, just to brighten things up in the center of the glass. 
Now we're going to add some shadows and definition along the sides of the glass. I'm going to use the T3 on the very edges and then blend it towards the center with a T1. And then we're going to make things even lighter with the T0. And I could have stopped here, I think, but I wanted to add a little bit of a blue hue. So we're going to take the blue green 000 and add it to some parts of the center and then darken up the edges with a T5 just to give the glass a little bit more definition and then blend that out with a T1. And it's looking good to me. So I think I'm going to stop right about here and well, I guess not. And we put a little more T0 over the center to dull out the blue green a little bit. And then we're going to add some highlights and I'm just putting some highlights along the edges of the glass um, and then the edges of the stem and then maybe a little bit in the center but then I patted it away with my finger just so that it wasn't so bright white more of like a left a little bit of a gray tone on the paper and now I cut out two additional wine glasses and I'm just going to stack them together just so that our wine glasses stand up off the page a little bit, just to give them some dimension. So we have three different layers of our little wine glass that we're gonna use for our stacking. And the cardstock that I used here was Nina Solar White, 110 pound or I think either 110 pound, 120 pound, whatever it is, can't remember offhand. I think it's 110. And then I'm just gonna press all that together and now to give it a more of a realistic look, especially since this is all no line coloring, I'm gonna go along the edges with my black Copic marker and I'm gonna use the chisel tip for this. Just because in the event that there was any glue anywhere, I never use my chisel tip, so I'd rather ruin my chisel tip than my brush nib. That's what I was thinking. And here's a glass that I did off screen. So we have our two wine glasses. Now we're gonna move on to the focal panel and we're gonna use some distress inks here. These are just the regular distress inks. This one is Seedless Preserves. And then we're also gonna use a Concord. Concord Grape, I think is the other one. And I'm using these great blending brushes that I got from Taylor Expressions. I think these were, these were released a few weeks ago and they sold out pretty quickly, but I think they're coming back at the end of August. And the great thing about these blending brushes is that there are 10 of them and they're all the same size and they're color coded so that it's easy to tell which, um, which blending brush you're, you're using. Um, and it's also nice that they're all the same size because then you have um, the most popular size for all of your colors. So that's one thing I love about the Taylor Expressions brushes. In terms of how they work, I don't think they work any better than my $5 makeup brushes that I got from Amazon, but I do like the color coding and I do like that they're all the same size. So if you want something pretty for your craft room, definitely worth it. If you're on a budget, maybe just pick up the $5 ones from Amazon. So now we're done putting, making, adding some interest to our focal panel. And I just did some ink spatters with my distress, my distress inks here. And now I am going to um, glue down a sheet of pattern paper to the card base. And this pattern paper comes from MFT Stamps most recent um, pattern paper release. I think it, it just came out this July. I don't remember the name of it offhand. It might be called Rainbow or something like that. And then I adhered the focal panel kind of on an angle just to make it look a little bit wonky, a little interesting. And then I'm just gluing on the two wine glasses onto our focal panel. And then we're gonna add our sentiment and it says, congrats are in order, drinks are on deck. And I did pop that up with some foam tape. There are lots of great sentiments um, in this kit. I think there's one that says cheers. There are ones that says have a bottomless birthday. Um, clink, clink, let's celebrate. Lots of, lots of great um, celebratory sentiments and birthday sentiments if you want to make a card for a friend who likes to drink. So there's my card and I am going to keep playing this weekend. If I make more cards, I'll definitely share them either on YouTube or Instagram. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. So just leave me any questions in the comments and let me know in particular what types of projects you'd like to see me make with this kit. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I will see you again soon in the next video.